people in and out of the studio yeah. giving us live updates yeah. on what's going on. So 30 hour mm -hmm. campaign, you gotta give. I'm excited for it. It's yep. gonna be great. Of course, before we can get to next Tuesday, we gotta get through the rest of this weekend. And for some of us, it's gonna be pretty busy, at least with all the traveling and whatnot. We're still tracking that very large system. This is the same one that brought us almost two inches of rain, at least for some of us two days ago. Now just continuing to move just off to the east, not really gonna cause any issues for us locally. So if you're staying close to home, maybe you're traveling out to the west. West, you shouldn't run into any issues, but maybe if you're trying to catch a flight into New York, into Boston, or even anywhere into Maine, you may see a couple of issues. I haven't seen anything from air traffic control this morning, but no, they are tracking some snow and even some mixtures from that ice. As far as temperatures go, it's pretty easy to tell exactly where that storm system moved through. A lot of that cooler air is still off to the west, so if you're heading to Denver, Kansas City, Minneapolis, just make sure you grab that extra layer, that thicker coat. It's going to be chilly temperatures in the 20s this morning. Closer to home, St. Louis, right at 43 and then across our area, tracking those upper 30s, low 40s. And we're already starting to fall for some of us. We're going to continue to fall temperature wise. We're also tracking a breeze out of the northwest. So you take that into account. Wind chills down even close to freezing for some spots like Harrisburg and Carmi. Upper 30s is what it's feeling like down into the boot hill. By this afternoon, temperature is only into the mid to upper 40s. It's going to be pretty much a cut and paste of yesterday. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cloudy, not nearly as breezy, but wind chills are going to stay pretty steady below those temperatures. Threat tracker overall, though, is low today. We're tracking dry conditions tomorrow as low as it can go. It's going to be the pick day of the week. Lots of sunshine, some really nice warm temperatures just in time for Thanksgiving. I mean, one of the nicest Thanksgivings we've seen in at least a couple of years. As we go into the weekend, we're tracking that slight chance for some rain. So maybe if you're heading back on Sunday, just know you could run into that isolated chance. We've got some pretty cool temperatures. Temperatures as we approach the six o'clock hour, they're close to freezing. We've got mid to upper 30s by 8 a.m. Couple of clouds still hanging around by noon. We have upper 40s to low 50s, wind steady out of the west. And then by five o'clock, so of course, sun already set by now. Temperatures continuing to fall. If you are getting out early tomorrow morning, doing some traveling, turkey trot, anything like that, we have upper 20s, low 30s. So we're just going to kind of continue to get cooler and cooler as we go throughout the mornings tomorrow included. But by the afternoon, I mean, a beautiful day, mid 50s, a lot of sunshine and clear skies. Really great timing for any sort of traveling plans. Storm Track 3 app, really handy to have, especially when you're on the go. It's going to track your location and give you that local weather update. We've got mostly cloudy skies today, so very similar to yesterday. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be cooler, and that breeze is going to pack a punch when you're walking outside. We've got mostly sunny skies into Thanksgiving. If you're out shopping uh, Black Friday deals, we've got Shop Local Saturday bundle up for those cooler temperatures. Long term, we're welcoming December unseasonably cool. Oh, mercy. Are you going to get out and do any Black Friday shopping? No, no, so I'll be I'm, here. I'm kind of <laughs> yes. Well, I'm getting all these emails now for all the, everything that's on sale. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting suckered into it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I may have to down buy the some. rabbit hole. Yeah. Down the rabbit hole. Well, we're going to go down the rabbit hole after the break in just a moment with all of our top stories that are coming up. Yeah, stay with us. You're watching.